everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And today I have a video for you of working in my daily journal. So this is my Hobonichi Tetro Cousin Avec. And I have got this beautiful happy mail from the lovely Susan. So very big thank you to Susan, my kindred spirit. Um, this was a lovely, lovely surprise, and she knows me well. She's included a lot of florals and birds and butterflies and French things there. And she wrote me this lovely letter. Isn't this beautiful? Um, oh, her words are so sweet. And she also printed me out this beautiful um, song. It's called Hands by Jewel. Not sure if you're familiar with it, but when it came out, I really liked this song and when I was in high school I actually learned how to play the chorus on piano and so yeah it's got a lot of meaning for me um, I like the sentiment the meaning behind the song as well just in itself and so thoughtful of uh, Susan to send this to me so thank you thank you so much I um, sent a photo to Susan of my piano when I got it she was the first person I told um, in the junk journal world anyway, when I got my piano, because she plays piano as well, and she's actually a piano teacher, so I wanted to uh, share the good news with her, and <laughs> it was so fun. Um, so we definitely got a bond over piano and music, and um, I hope to practice, and when I feel like I can play the song through without messing up <laughs> I hope to yeah film a video of me playing it and I will dedicate that to the lovely Susan <laughs> so I'm just going to cut out her beautiful beautiful words and I'm going to reserve that for my yearly journal so a bit more of a special journal for the intentional life course as well and that's quite fitting because Susan is one of my journalists taking part in the intentional life journal course and yeah I'm going to save some of these items as well from this happy mail to use in my intentional life journal and maybe some of these um, envelopes and cards because they are so beautiful. I love them. Cards and envelopes are one of my favorite suppliers to collect and gather news in journals. Um, but I don't like using anything too bulky um, or thick in my Hobonichi Techo because with each page allocated to a day, um, it's really easy for me to bulk it up. And I don't like chunky journals, so I have to be um, selective with what I add to my pages in this particular journal. So uh, where possible, I try to include thin pieces of paper or, you know, tissue paper and that type of thing. These two papers I love. I'm going to include that in my intentional life journal as well. Um, I love the little prompts there. So that's going to be fun to fill out when I do a page spread in that journal. And I've got these beautiful butterfly images that she sent really really lovely and of the Paris um, tags as well uh, yeah the vintage French journals are possibly my favorite journals to create uh, along with the botanical journals so I just pulled out one of the tags with Paris and the Eiffel Tower on it um, the paper bag how fun I love collecting all different types of paper bags that's another supply that I definitely love using in journals um, and I think I'll save that one maybe for the paper bag journal that I do whenever I get enough um, paper bags to um, put together a journal that's entirely made of paper bags for the cover and the pages, which is really fun because it ends up being like a an ephemera holder or, um, you know, just with lots of pockets so you can just put things in the pockets and it's like a happy mail in a journal. <laughs> and then she sent some beautiful napkins and yeah, I haven't gotten napkins for a very, very long time. And so I've been using all of my stash of napkin envelopes and they're almost finished. I've got a little box that I keep them in. In fact, it used to be a big box and I had to transfer it to a little box. I started using them all. Um, so I'm really thankful for these napkins so I can make some more napkin envelopes. Yay! And then there's these really pretty ones with plastic. It looks like, like plastic 
on one side of the napkin on the other side really cool I haven't seen this done before but really really cool texture and I thought about folding them in half and including them in a signature of a journal and it would just give the um, journal some really cool textured pages and they're really beautiful too and then look look at this beautiful 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 fabric with the blue butterflies the blue butterfly became my symbol in the junk journal world um i think just because you know in my videos early on i would always rave about the blue butterfly whenever i saw a picture of one i'd be like oh my gosh look how beautiful it is and then people were telling me that they associated me with blue butterflies and any time that they came across a blue butterfly they would put it in a little pile put it aside for me um and so then people just sent, started sending me all of these blue butterfly items like cards tags general cards pictures of blue butterflies um i got a tea towel with a blue butterfly on it once and i've even got um uh some earrings uh from the lovely karina and a necklace and a key ring um Karina I've put that key ring on my keys so I see it every day <laughs> um and yeah so from that I uh just call the blue butterfly my symbol my junk journal symbol if you've ever wondered why I refer to it like that that's the story and in fact I was almost going to call willow bound journals my little business blue butterfly journals so that's how much it meant to me um the other name that I was considering was fairy light journals um I I'm terrible at coming up with names. <laughs> I, well, I think I'm good, but when I whenever I tell people, they either just laugh <laughs> or they think it's lame. Generally, I come with up with lame names apparently, <laughs> and that's been like my whole life. Um, I'll, I'll I like the names myself, but whenever I say them out loud, people are just like, "No, that's boring. That's lame. That's uninteresting," or they like, literally just will laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so when it came to naming my small business, I did a poll, like an, a, a vote um, in one of the junk journal groups and the ladies helped me to come up with the name. So yeah, one of the candidates was Blue Butterfly Journals, another Fairy Light Journals and obviously Willow Bound Journals and um, Willow Bound Journals won by a lot, um, but all three of those names uh, significant to me you know they represent beauty and whimsy and imagination and just something that I like and find wonder in and joy in um, and so I wanted yeah the name of my journal business to represent the feel of what a journal is for me you know that wonder that beauty that um, awe and that delight you know um so yeah willow van journals the added bonus of that and i think this is why people i ask people not just to vote but to tell me why they voted for the particular particular name and hands down what people were saying about why they chose willow bound or willow was because of the story that i shared about how when i grew up there was a willow in our front garden and I felt free under there. I felt like I could be myself there. It was a safe place, a place where I could imagine and, you know, a magical, whimsical place for me. A beautiful, beautiful tree where, you know, I would call it my favorite place because it was just, yeah, my safe place where I could be myself and dream and, you know, um, I would pretend I was a princess under there wearing a pretty dress and I would pretend that I was in a fantasy land and the willow was a castle. I called it my ivory tower from the never ending story <laughs> and I would enact out this whole little story um, and I had a flying unicorn. Her name was Beauty Sparkle. My name, if you're wondering, was Princess Golita. <laughs> if you've ever seen a show called Golta, um, yeah. <laughs> I loved um, imagining, you know, I was a creative kid. I would write stories and I would draw the places that I wrote about, you know, with a beautiful waterfall and a lake and flowers growing around the lake and there'd always be a willow next to the lake and there would be all these animals and I could talk to the animals in my dreamland and I'd always wear pretty tiara and have a wand and a pretty chill dress <laughs> so that was me that's my childhood <laughs> and the you know typical girly girl 
dreaming of princesses and fantasy magical lands. <laughs> and I even have some of the stories I wrote as a child. And, you know, they're called Magic Land or something. Or the Magical Unicorn. <laughs> so I still have those stories. Of course I do, because I was a junk journaler. I'm at heart. Like, even before I knew what a junk journal was, this is what I did. I kept papers I kept ephemera I kept things from my life that, that told stories and that meant something to me and I've just collected all these things over time anyway this has become a bit of a storytelling video <laughs> um a little get to know me sesh <laughs> um so yeah I've just decorated the page with some of the favorite things from that happy mail um and they all tell a story that that quote that I came up with for describing the heart of the inspiration art journal course that we're doing with or the collage journal that we're going to be making which the first video will be coming out tomorrow on friday <laughs> um yeah our journals are creative bi biographies where each word and image that we put on the page shares a piece of who we are and tells a piece of our story and everything that i've chosen for this page shares a bit about me, it shares a bit about what I love, shares a bit about where I find delight, it shares a bit about where I find beauty, um, and it tells a story about the journals that I make, um, the kinds of journals that I like making, it tells a story of my kindred spirit, Susan, and, you know, that piano memory, and I don't know, I, I can't <laughs> emphasize it enough how special our journals are that hold these stories and pieces of ourselves and why it's such a privilege and an honor whenever I get to see the pages of someone else's journal like it's just magical and I I think pages of journals are like treasure <laughs> so if I can help you see your journal pages like this special wonderful treasure and then I am happy with that. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just doing some little star points on the page about what I did that day. Uh, filmed some videos, went into work at my old work to help with the transition. Had lunch with a friend. It was her birthday recently, so I um, shouted her a birthday lunch and we had some fun chats. And then I um, yeah, wrote about the happy mail that I got from the lovely Susan and... I didn't fill in the day for Wednesday just because I filmed this video on a Wednesday. And so um, I've got to go back fill that page. But yeah, I just wanted to document the happy mail and how fun that we have, you know, the internet. And, uh, you know, I can send a journal out into the world and see a photo of someone holding it in their hands or um, a photo of them using their journal. And then, you know, Susan sending me this happy mail and I can film a video of me using it in my journal. Same with this one from Xenia. Thank you so much, Xenia, for your beautiful happy mail. And I hope you guys get a thrill out of seeing it being used and not only used in the pages of my journals, but the pages of, or in the journals they make for my shop and knowing that there's a piece of you going out to around the world you know how special is that um making people happy through the journals <laughs> through journaling anyway hope you guys are doing Big well thank you to my beautiful video. patrons who supported me in april thank you so much for allowing me to do this for another month it really means the absolute world to me and i could not do this without you if you would like to become a patron in may i will leave the link below to my patreon down in the description box that's where you get access to more videos from me, personal updates, printables. And if you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy with a new with a new kit each month. If you would like to support my channel through a one-off donation, you can do that through PayPal to my email address or through Buy Me A Coffee. And if you'd like to be part of any of my journaling courses, I'm starting them again in May for the month of May. So feel free to email me to register and I hope you have fun journaling your life because your stories matter.